guys, your girl Jalicia, and I am back to do this tag. Now, I am one of those people, when I saw first time, I'm like, don't nobody want to hear about your first time unless you about to give us all the juicy details, okay? Okay. But, it is not that kind of tag. It's actually very fun, and hopefully you get to know more about me as if you didn't know a lot about me already, okay? And some of you might not want to know this much about me, but you here, so let's get into it. Now I'm still in the questions of a bronze goddesses video, so I'm gonna be looking at my phone to get the questions. So just bear with me while I sound a little retarded sometimes. <laughs> you know how it go. All right, question number one: Do you still talk to your first love? I don't even remember who my first love was, so no, I don't talk to them. <laughs> and for those of you who might still be with your first love, you go, girl. Okay. Hmm. What was your first alcoholic drink? My first alcoholic drink was Punch of Cuba. Um, for all our Caribbean people out there, hey, they know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like the Caribbean version of Bailey's Irish Cream, but not with like the Bailey's. Well, no, it's not coffee flavored. It's strictly white, but it's like a milk rum. Punch of Cuba is so good, and they started selling this green one. Child, it is so good, but. For some reason, Caribbean parents don't think about what they give their kids, so I think I had that at like seven. But it was like Christmas time when everybody was, you know, I guess drunk. I don't know. And my second other first drink, because I actually had two instances that let me know, alcohol ain't for you, girl. My grandmother used to have a like, little store in her kitchen or whatever. She used to sell like beer and sodas and stuff like that. So, child, I stole one of them old Milwaukee's. And if you, old Milwaukee's is an old school drink, okay? And I was getting drunk outside, okay, and fell asleep under the tree. Yeah, I remember that. I knew I had to be by 11. <laughs> Little ass thief. My grandma was like, she whooped my ass and then said, that's what you get. Now go in that bed and sleep it off. <laughs> okay. What was your first job? My first job technically was in a salon when I graduated high school. That was my first official job. But my first almost job was when I was like in the ninth grade, they used to have a program called School Lunch in the VI where you can like work in the lunch rooms and summer camps where you like serve the kids and stuff like that. I made it a week and then this lady tried it over some mayonnaise and I had to go. I, I turned it out and then they said, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to go home, okay? <laughs> so that wasn't really working. My check was like probably $90. But I was so proud at 90. Hmm. What was your first car? My first car was a Nissan Sentra. I believe it was a 1995. Okay, and I think this was back in 96. Okay, so that was like a brand new car to me. Bet, bet you could not tell me I was not styling and profiling. Okay? Okay. Who was, who was the first person to text you today? Hmm. Let's see. I don't even remember. Nita, my client, hey girl, she texted me today saying she couldn't make it. So she was the first person to text me today. Don't you feel all special, girl? Ow. <laughs> Who was the first person you thought of this morning? Um, when I woke up, you know, I always thank God for waking me up this morning and said my prayers. And then the very next person I thought of was my mother because she had like minor knee surgery yesterday. So I was like wondering if she was okay and if anyone was over there watching her and staying with her at the house. That was my first thought. And then after that, I grabbed my phone and got straight to Instagram. Like, let me see all the ratchetness I done missed. <laughs> and all the Miley Cyrus jokes. Because I'm getting my life off the Miley Cyrus jokes. Okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Who was your first grade teacher? I have no idea. I went to a Catholic school, so I'm sure it was some kind of sister something. I went to a Catholic school until I was in the fourth grade. And then they said, ma'am, you and your sisters, I'm going to need y'all to get out. <laughs> For real, though. But it was sisters marry something, but I don't remember. When did you go on your first ride on the airplane? I went on my first plane ride when I was like nine. Me and my grandmother and my aunts all came to New York to visit my aunt that was living in New York. And I just thought I was doing it because I was in the U.S., okay? Well, technically, I am from the U.S., but I was in the States. That's what we call it. Baby, you could not tell me nothing. I made sure I came back to the VI with a little New York twang, okay? And I was not gone two weeks, okay? I was a mess. <laughs> Who was your first best friend and do you guys still talk? 
No. My very, very first best friend name was Charmaine. And we were like in the third grade. We were inseparable, okay? We would braid each other's hair and all of that. Um, no, I haven't talked to her in a long time. I even thought about her. Hmm, I need to look her up on Facebook. Where was your first sleepover? My very first sleepover was at my cousin um, Malika's house. Oh my God, me and my little sister slept over there and we had like onesies on. I knew I had to be in like six. Um, in the VI, it's not, people aren't as predator watching as they are in the mainland. And especially not back when I was a kid. I mean, come on, I'm 34. So... Like, back in the 80s, people was like, you want to go to your friend's house? Goodbye. And my mom was in a sorority with a lot of women that had kids that went to school with me and stuff. So I got to sleep over all the time. All the time. Who was the first person you talked to today? <laughs> That's an easy one. Ray. Ray's the first person I talk to pretty much every day because obviously we wake up saying, come on, go over. Give me some more cover. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. What was the first thing you did this morning? After I said my prayers and I checked my Instagram, because those are just things everybody does, right? Right. Um, I got up and made me some eggs and turkey bacon and toast. Me and Ray. That's the very first thing I did was eat. Hmm, I know you ain't surprised. <laughs> what was the first concert you ever went to? Uh, the very first concert I ever been to was a Beanie Man and Lady Saw concert that was in the VI. And I've been to a lot of like reggae and soca concerts. So in my mind, I don't count those. Um, I haven't been to a real concert like with a Rihanna or Beyonce. And because I missed Rihanna when she came to Tampa. And I don't want to talk about it because I will burst into tears. Okay. But. Anyway. So I've never been to an actual real concert with like a Patti LaBelle or Luther or uh, American artist, but I've seen a lot of reggae artists. So if you want to count that, then count it. <laughs> my first broken bone. My first broken bone actually was this right here. I broke my collarbone right here. I don't even know if you guys can see I'm in the frame. I broke my collarbone falling down some stairs trying to be nosy. It's the truth. That's what happened. My first piercing. This actually was my first piercing. Um, other than ears, because everybody has their ears pierced, right? What's the first foreign country you've ever been to? Well, again, our Caribbean people, we know this. Because I'm from the Virgin Islands and our three islands are set in the Caribbean, the first foreign place I've ever been to was Tortola, which is just the British Virgin Islands, which is like 10 minutes across in a boat. But I've been to like St. Martin, Anguilla, different places around the islands because they're so close. It's the, it's the same as if you would travel, let's say, to Georgia, to Florida, to New York, back and forth up here. It's the same down there on the boat. Like, you can go anywhere. So, I've been to a lot of those little small islands. But I definitely want, and again, I don't even consider that because I don't even have a passport because I'm from there. When we're living down there, you don't have to use that kind of stuff until as of late. But usually, you can just get on the boat and go. Now that I have a passport... And now that I need to get a passport, I definitely want my first foreign place to be London. Because let me tell you how I love those Brits, okay? First movie I remember seeing. The very first movie I remember seeing is Goonies. Let me tell you, I love that movie, you hear me? And I love Munch the most. I love the Goonies. I watched it a million times. That's the first movie I remember seeing in a theater. When was your first detention? <laughs> Child, my first detention probably was like in the second or third grade. I've been getting detention for talking too much or having an attitude my whole life. That's It's just across the bear. Who was your first roommate? My first roommate is one of my besties to this day, Selena. Hey, girl. She was my first roommate. When I tell you, she taught me so much about life. Child. If you had one wish, what would it be? Hmm. Right now, in the present mood that I am in, if I had one wish, it would be for my grandmother to still be alive and be with me. And not just alive, but back how she was when she was raising me, like, a full of life. My grandmother um, passed three years ago. She lived to be 99. I know, kind of sucks she missed that year, because literally her birthday was February 6th, and she died, like, January 21. I was pretty bummed. But I still had her a birthday party at her little... I don't, I don't want to talk about it, but... It would be for my grandmother to still be here. 
What is something you would learn if you had the chance? I promise you is two things. It would be one to learn Japanese because I love Japanese culture. Like I love how crazy and muchumoto and I just love Japanese culture. So I definitely would want to learn Japanese. And the second thing would be to learn how to braid with extensions. Cause let me tell you how people call me all the time asking me to do their hair and stuff. I, I can braid. I can definitely braid, but with extensions, I I'll be fucking it up, let me tell you. I can't. It would definitely be those two things right now. <laughs> of course it changes because I'm very much indecisive. Now the last question is, what were the first lessons you ever took? The very first lesson I ever took was piano. Um, I took piano when I was like really young, like seven or eight. And I actually was really good at piano, but it was way too boring for me. Like honestly, I stopped playing piano because it wasn't enough noise and movement and excitement and applause you know really people are very quiet while you play the piano you gotta sit like so and play Mozart and shit like no if I'm gonna play piano I wanna be like bah, bah. I wanna be like goodness great it's just great balls of fire like I wanna be crunk and it just was not that kind of environment I wasn't getting ready to play the piano at the church unfortunately because again at that time I was Catholic and y'all know Catholic churches are boring okay they don't have any if you unless you play unless you play in the organ they don't have any room for you so it just it didn't work out but I enjoyed it it was fun but I need to be like yes 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 <laughs> all right so I thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it this was super fun for me to go down memory lane with y'all I'm sure you got to know more about me maybe like I said more than you want to know but it was fun I definitely hope you do it if not I'll leave the questions in the description box so you can at least just answer them in the comment section like share with me I want to know like come on <laughs> all right so again I'll see you guys in the next video peace out she works hard for the comments so you better hit that like